Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning advanced coding editor for tutorials. This is our part 5. Inside this video, we will see the concept of multiple files upload in Code Igniter 4. So here, we have a setup. Inside this setup, we will do a code. By the help of that code, actually, we will allow to upload multiple files inside this application. So if I back to browser, go inside this blogging website, articles, click on Code Igniter 4. And inside this search bar, if I type, let's say, multiple files, press enter and inside this list we should find an article that is multiple files upload so simply I will click on that this article is totally from scratch it means from installation up to application testing so we will not do any installation because we have currently a setup so inside this setup we will continue this article so scroll down we have the setup all about the setting environment variable create a database and now inside our database we need to create this table so what I will do this table we will create in our database so I will copy the whole code back to PHMI admin so inside this we have the database called trait underscore class click on this SQL tab pasting this command and by the help of this mysql create table command we are creating a table called files and inside this table we are storing the value something name type and path this is a table in which we will store the upload file paths so simply click on go button table created back to structure and here as you can see that we have a files table go to structure and here are the columns now next what we have to do we need to connect with the database so successfully we have connected next we need to create few routes so we need site controller so first of all let's create all about controller so I will copy go inside this terminal close this development server and inside this project setup we will run PHP spark make controller site and suffix why we have added suffix flag because after in this command it will create a site file and it will append suffix as a controller so the overall file name is something site controller.php press enter controller created successfully and the controller is stored inside this controllers folder back to article now next what I will do simply I will copy all these two routes the first route is all about rendering a layout that layout is responsible to upload view files I mean sorry our uploaded files and next we have a post request type by the help of that we will hit this method and this method will upload our files from client side to server side so I will copy these two routes back to editor go inside app config our routes.php file and inside this file I will paste these two routes the first route as we had discussed all about the form layout and the next upload files method so inside site controller we need to create these two methods like index and save files back to article and inside the site controller as we can see that we have a DB instance so what I will do simply I will copy the whole code of the site controller go inside editor open up the controller files so we will open controller file from app controllers folder and here we have site controller so I will remove all existing code and pasting this copied code now inside this controller class here we have a construct method and inside this construct method we are creating a DB instance right here as we can see that we need two methods called index and save files so inside this index method we have a view file called so first of all we need to create this view file so copy the name go inside views folder create a file something upload hyphen files dot php so we need some html we need a form back to article scroll down so here we have create view file and this is the complete code of upload hyphen files dot php 
I will copy this code back to editor and pasting it here. So inside this view file, what code basically it is? Simply it is a HTML. Inside this HTML, this is all kind of showing our confirmation message. If suppose we have any error while uploading, the error message will display inside this block. And we are reading our flash messages by using this session function. Now next, if suppose we have any kind of success message, something files uploaded, so success message we will display inside this block. Now next, we have some bootstrap classes. Inside this we have a form. Inside this form, as we are going to upload files, so we need to add this attribute called ink type multipart forward slash form hyphen data. Now next, as we know that inside this routes file, we have one more route which is post request type called save hyphen files. So we have used this route inside this form. And inside this form, we have a select files label. We have an input type file button which is going to accept multiple values. This form will give an access to upload multiple files inside that input field and simply we have a submit button. So next, this is all about we have the index method calling a view file. Next we have save files method which we will hit via post request type. And inside this method, we will send all the values, let's say all the uploaded files, what we have uploaded via this input field back to controller. So simply, this is all about we are creating a query builder class. This is a builder instance and this builder instance is pointing towards our files table and this is the table what we have created inside this database. So this is all about query builder instance. Here we have created a session variable and here we are checking that if we are uploading any files or not. Here we have get file multiple inside this file and this is the name attribute of input field. As you can see here, we have file here, which is an array because this time by the help of input type file, actually we are uploading multiple files. So simply by the help of this name attribute, we are checking that if we are uploading multiple files, if yes, then simply we are reading all the files from this file array, iterating over each file as a file variable and simply we are uploading inside uploads folder and where this uploads folder exists so by default when we upload any file if we pass path here so by default it will point towards public folder because the public folder definition is public folder is that folder which stores public accessible files so if we want to store any kind of file this will create uploads folder inside public directory and upload this file. And after uploading file, simply we are creating a data array like name, type, path. Why actually we are creating? Because by the help of this data array, we need to insert inside this files table. So to insert any new row, we need name, type and path. So that's why we have specified three variables inside this array. And we are using this file instance here as you can see this is an instance like a single variable which points a specific index of what file actually we have uploaded this returns an array of file to read one by one a specific file here we have a variable called file by the help of this file variable we have uploaded that single file and read all the attributes like we are getting name here type and client name and finally by the help of this builder instance we are saving this data inside our database because earlier we had discussed that this builder instance is pointing towards files table scroll down after saving data we are setting a flash message inside this success key that is files uploaded otherwise if we are not uploading any file then we have some error inside this error key which is a session flash message and this time the message is something please choose file. So after storing the value either success or error we are redirecting to this route called upload hyphen files and this route is here and it is pointing towards 
index method. So let's run this application because we had done all copy paste from this article and completed. Now next we need to test our application. So back to terminal. We need to start our development server. So php spark serve application started. So copy this link and open into our web browser. And simply if we want to render Simply I will copy this route called upload-files, pasting it here and this is all about our layout. By the help of select files, if we click on this button, we will be allowed to choose multiple files. Let's click on this choose files, so I am selecting and here inside is my pictures directory, here we, ha we have some pictures, so I am selecting this first picture pressing control button to select more than one file so after clicking on this first image now I am pressing control button selecting this second image third image fourth image so these all four images now I am going to upload so click on open open button as we can see four files now selected so once we click on this submit button it will go inside the site controller save files method now here we have four files this file variable is indicates all about one by one of each file and step by step it, it will upload first like first file store inside database again go second file upload store inside database and so on so click on send button or submit button and as you can see that files uploaded so first of all we need to verify inside our public directory so go inside this folder structure public so before that if I reload this directory structure so inside this public folder now we have uploads folder and inside this uploads folder as we can see that four files now uploaded let's verify inside our database table so if I click on this browse now inside this table as you can see that four different files uploaded so this is the video demonstration guys that how can we can upload multiple files inside CodeIgniter 4 so for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.